If you want to convert your own world files from three pack to package, there's an important thing that you need to do, and that is extract the XML file. So your game doesn't have, or your world when you go in, doesn't have like the long file names in edit town and all that in the descriptions like will all be messed up and I've had quite a few people complain to me about it with my world so I had to actually go in and fix them all in that case and so that was a while back they should all be fixed now but there's also some people saying they're still having the problem and I'm wondering if a lot of those people uh, maybe have the sims 3 game in a different language and that's the problem there because the xml files that I extracted for the worlds were in English. So that's why I want to kind of show you today what I or how I do it anyways, or what I do. So there was somebody that left a comment and she she has uh, her game in, in Hungarian. I'm glad she told me that because instead of just telling me that you know, the descriptions and the lots are in the long file name. So it made more sense than if her game is in a different language, what was happening. So I've gone ahead for her specifically because she did tell me exactly what was going on. So I, I went ahead and I did do the extraction for the worlds, the XML extractions for her, for all the worlds that I've converted for this video here. If you've seen this video or if not, this is the video I'm referring to. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, uh, what I've done is I've gone ahead and extracted all the XML files in Hungarian for her. And so then that way she can, you know, play the worlds normally without that, because it's really hard to play the worlds when you have the descriptions and the lot and the addresses all messed up. Like, that's not fun, right? <laughs> not at all. So also, if you are looking for some store worlds, I will leave a link above and in the description because you will find them in this video here that I'm talking about in package file format. Anyways, I'm going to show how I do it for anyone who might have the same issue. Maybe you've downloaded some of my worlds and your, your game is in a different language. I'm going to show you exactly how you can fix that problem if you're having that issue or for just anyone who wants to just convert worlds themselves and wants to know how to do this and they don't know. So I don't know if there's any other ways that is different that, than what I do or how I do it. There might be an easier ways. I'm not sure. All right. So once you learn how to do it, it's quite easy. Uh, so I have the Google Translate here just because I have to make sure that the language, like the Hungarian language, I had to make sure, you know, detect the, the actual language. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. The world's that come in my files, if you open them up with Sims 3 Package Editor, it's not going to have the XMLs in there. So you have to do it from the actual Sims 3 pack. And that's as far as like what I've discovered trying to do it an easier way, like just opening up my worlds that were already converted and doing it. I couldn't do it that way. So you have to start from scratch kind of thing. Uh, you will, you do need a few programs though. You need the Sims 3 Redox Compressorizer. This file, this is just like like the um, multi extractor, the uh, package extractor, or whatever by Delphi. This is just a little bit more easier to use. I mean, it's not easier. It does the exact same thing. Maybe it is easier. I don't know. You just because you just drop the world over top and it creates a file for you, so you don't have to do it manually. I guess so. Yeah. This this program here. I can't remember what the abbreviation is. Obviously, Sims Three something. I can't remember. But I'll leave that all the links below, of course, as usual. Anyways, yeah. So start with the world that you want because it's a store world, right? It's the sunlit tides that I'm using here. You want to take it through the Redux compressorizer and. And this window will pop up the command prompt. It'll pop up automatically. So what it's doing is just going through the world and unlocking any encryptions because a lot of these worlds, especially if you have the deluxe or the gold versions, they're going to have the premium content attached with it, right? So yeah, you have to unlock that encryption first in order to convert it into a package file. And sometimes um, these worlds take a little longer than other worlds, depending on how much stuff they have attached. And you're going to need the Sims 3 cleaner. Okay, so once that window disappears, it's done. And so then what I do is put it through this program so it extracts all the package files from the Sims 3 pack. I'm just going to open up the other program that I use, tools. And yeah, it's the Sims 3 pack cleaner, aka custard, I believe. Is that right? Open it up. Okay, so where did it go? Oh, it's over here. Okay, I have a lot of icons on my desktop and I'm trying to cover them up so it's not so overwhelming uh, for anyone. 
it's funny. Okay, so yeah, so that's what this program did is it just extracted all the package files into a separate file. So we're going to open this up. And what we need to do is find the world file. So we need to open this up in the Sims 3 cleaner. So you just go to file, whoops, file open. And it's on my desktop here. Just open it. And mine shows up in red. It's highlighted. So I don't know if that is for everybody. But here it is here. And you will know that it's the world. If you look under type, it should say neighborhood world. And so then you just want to find this these uh, this string of number and letters. You want to find that over here. So it's 0 um, x 6 e. And usually if there is a lot, I will... Oh, I think this might be it here. <laughs> I usually will search for it on the top there in the search bar. And it's easier that way. Yeah, this is it here. So you're going to need the Sims 3 pack package editor, Sims 3 package editor program as well. Just all you do is double click that world file and it'll open up automatically in or no. Well, sometimes it won't open up automatically. Actually, I should. You might have to like right click it and then open with Sims 3 pack editor here. But because I op always open these up like this, it'll just automatically open in that editor. Anyways, now these are all the, you know, files attached um, to that Sims 3 pack or to that world file. So now what we need to do is find the tag STBL. So the, the language string we need to find. And this part can be really kind of tedious, but what you can do if you want is you can come down to the bottom here and just type in STBL. And then you can click the check mark beside it. And then you'll have to go over here and click filter active. Oops. Oh, I'll click, click set as well. So the check mark set and then filter active and then all this, the STBLs will come up. Okay, so some worlds are weird and um, I'm hoping this one isn't. So like <laughs> the one I'm showing you, um, because there are some that don't have the actual language strings in. I, I think they do, but it's all wrapped up in another, in an XML file, but they're on, they're not separate like this. Oh, and this one, this one does have them. Okay, so this is the format on the right side that you want to look for and it has the descriptions here and then it'll have the addresses in that here. Okay, so what we want to do, because this is the last world I'm working on for the Hungarian language for that lady that commented. I've done up all the worlds for her except for Aurora Skies and Angel City because for some reason, like I said, they don't have uh, the STBLs. I'm not sure why. Anyways, okay, so with these, you want to find the Hungarian language, obviously. This is another thing you can do is find the code for the particular language because they all they're all in code so this instance over here so english would be 0x00 uh, zero, zero. french i think is 0x07 zero, zero, and hungarian is 0x0a zero, zero, so i can see hungarian right here but how i make sure that it is in hungarian is i'll come over here i'll click on it so yeah the first few characters of the instance ID right here is what you're looking for. 0x0a. That is the Hungarian code, I guess you would say. Then over here is what I do is I'll just highlight this and I'll copy it and I'll come over to my Google Translate and I'll just paste it in here. And then it'll tell me, it says it right here, that it's in, it's Hungarian. So I know I have the right language string. Usually there'll be a lot of different languages here. I'm trying to find English here. Do they not? Where's English? Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Uh, it should be 0x00, I believe. That's weird. Oh, here it is. It's right at the bottom. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so that's, yeah, see 0x00, zero zero zero, that's English. And for French would be 0x07, zero zero so it's right here. And I don't know, I'm going to go through, I think, and just um, put all the codes and the languages that relate to those codes, uh, maybe in a text file. And I'll add that in a link uh, in the description. It'll be a lot easier to find the string anyways that way, just by the code instead of going through and testing each one. So we got the Hungarian one. This is the one I wanted in the first place. What you do is you highlight it here and then you right click it and you go down to export and then you go down to um, export to package file and this is where you're going to want to name it so you can name it anything you want as long as you know basically what it is right so i know it's for sunlit tides so i'll just put in sunlit and then i'll just put like a capital 
T and an underscore because you don't want any spaces. Any kind of package files that you're creating that you put in your game, make sure there's no spaces. You can put in underscores. Uh, the game can read the underscores. It can't read any other characters that well or at all sometimes. So that goes for any package files that maybe you download off the internet or whatever that you want to put in your game. Make sure there's no spaces in it. Um, you can just, you know, make it all one long word. You don't have to put an underscore in it either. So, okay, sunlit tides underscore and then I'll put the language. So Hungarian underscore uh, XML. And so I'm just going to save that on my desktop because it's easier to find that way. And it's done. So just you can just close everything once you're done. Definitely keep your Sims 3 pack as a um, backup because you might need to come back to it one day. But this this one here, I don't know. I just I toss it. It's just all the package files. I don't need it. If you are looking for how to convert world files specifically, I have made a couple videos for store worlds and custom worlds. And you can find that linked below uh, in my Sims 3 guide playlist on my channel. So I have one here, how to convert Sims 3 pack store world files to package files, my process. And then there's another one down here. Where is it? How to install worlds without the launcher. So here's the XML here. Here is all the worlds I've already done for her. I'm just going to throw that in there. So then what I do now, say if you're doing a bunch of these up for your worlds, so you want to do them for maybe all the different worlds or however many worlds that you have, you can just put them all in one file like this, and then you can merge them all into another file. So one file, so you're not having all these files separate. So you just want to open up the Sims 3 package editor again, and then you want to go to file. Whoops, new. Did I file new? Yeah, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, cancel, cancel. <gasps> Let's try this again. Oh, okay, never mind. Anyways, you do, you go to file and let me close this again and do it again because this is stupid. I don't know what I did here. No, I don't want to save. Okay, let's open this up again and try this again. Okay, so <laughs> go to file, click new, and then you want to right click on the blank space here and you want to go down to import um, as at the bottom here as DBC there. And then you want to find that file with all those XMLs in it and just highlight it or, or you can open. Oh, no, you have to open it. What am I talking about? highlight it you need to open it and highlight all the files in it first and then open it and then here you want to name it so i'm just going to name it um i don't know store world hungarian xmls xmls <laughs> that's good enough okay and then you want to save it wherever you want to save it i'm going to save mine on my desktop and that was quick. So you can just close it once it's done doing its thing there. Let's see, where is it? Where'd it go? Or did it save in here? Oh, it did save in here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> here it is here. So there, there's all the language strings uh, in Hungarian for all those worlds in one package. You can just throw in your package file or folder. And then when you open up that world, you'll have um, the proper, you know, names for the addresses, the lots and um, descriptions for everything. Anyways, hope that helps someone out there. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time.